Girl, they a mess over there at that Tokyo Valentino over there on Cheshire Bridge. You see, I just said wild card. <laughs> you see, I was, trying, I was trying to lead in with wild card. You went right into it. Uh huh. Now, see, these last couple of weeks, we've been, talk, we've been talking about this. Hold on. <laughs> a little piece of pepper that went down my esophagus. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pescatarian. I'm not vegan. Oh. So, <clears throat> they over there um, at, that, at that sex shop. Now, that's where you're going to get your dildos and your, your lube and your condoms if you're using them. <laughs> Quick, we're going to get an expert in, in prep over here on the show. Girl, the, um, girl we're going to do that for the podcast. Okay. Girl, I can't even understand how the condom company businesses are still even in. Because people wear condoms, sweetie. Who? I do. At times. <laughs> um, but anyway, they're going over to the Tokyo. I Valentine. do. At times. Mo does. At times. <clears throat> it's where you go and get your poppers and things if you get into that kind of thing. Your edible underwear. All of the things. That's where they have the glory hole. Did they talk about that? In the they story? did. They talked about how, you For those know. of you who don't know what a glory hole is, is when you put your penis through the hole and somebody's on the other end, either to get fucked or suck. We all indulged. No, I've never done that. I've never done that. That's not true. I've never done it. You haven't? No. Smo, please stop. You were in Africa just recently. <laughs> you, you've done a glory hole before? Yes. You have? Bitch, I have done it and we'll do it again. I have done it. Yes, I have. I mean, I've created my own glory hole. I've had a glory hole here in the house. Which has been torn down. It has been torn down. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it won't be built back up. <laughs> if the time needs to be. She said, what about the tuna? She said something about some tunas up there. She said, what about tuna? Uh, let me go so here's the thing. I don't do no poppers. Uh, who was that down there, Nico? Well, you the one said going over there getting your poppers, well, girl. Well, that's what they sell over you, there. You open the door for that, girl. They got poppers. They got dildos. They got all of the things over there. Yeah. And um, they got leather and straps and stuff. And uh, and glory holes. Correct. So back to your glory hole that you had here. Uh-huh. So would you tell them to just put a piece of um, drywall? No, I actually had a holes? wall built, and I wrote on the wall to get the full experience. <laughs> No, I'm still eating. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Tell her I'm done right now. For now. Okay. For now. Well, apparently the neighbors in the in in this vicinity mm -hmm. of this Tokyo Tokyo Valentino, uh -huh. they're sick of y'all coming out there fucking and carrying on in the parking lot. You can't handle that inside. Right. You can't handle that inside the store or go to your motel down the street. Wait, wait a minute. What's down or the street? To your apartment in there, like a um a Super Eight or something over there. I don't know. I don't live in that area. You know, I live far, far away from the city. From Veronica, Veronica. I didn't say I was innocent, niece. I wrote about all of my things in my first <laughs> and second girl, book. Girl, you always catch the girl. Right. Girl, my first book is called Words Never Spoken. I talk about how I was cutting shower holes out at Hampton and everything. Okay, well, those are glory holes. They were shower holes, though, but they were glory. Those were, those are, those, that's a form of glory hole, Craig. Okay, so then I guess I have. <laughs> But I never put my penis through the hole. Just your lips? No, I just looked. I put my eye down there. Oh. I wanted to see. Oh. So I would get up in the morning and I would. Now, if you put your eye through it and a dick would have came through, would you, would you have handled it? Girl. Okay. That's an answer enough. Um, so what I would do is I would peep through the hole in the shower curtain. You got something on your mind. Let me think. Mm, thank you, Mo, for noticing. The and I would see them in there showering and stuff. Well, honey, I want no reason for me doing no no peeping if I won't get no pumping. Really? No, God, I want to look through no hole if no dick one coming through. Oh, I couldn't put mine through. See, that's the joys of having both. They, bitch, me ask, why you don't get rid of your dick? Because it's joys in having a cop. <laughs> <laughs> but scary. baby, hey, there's joys in having. But a baby, cop. when I say they over there carrying on, that's just like down the street from there at the, at the Publix over there at Cheshire Bridge. Wait, they doing it at Publix too, Craig? Behind the building, behind that Tara movie theater. That's where the white gays go down there to be sucking and fucking and carrying on. It's a spirit over there at that deal. It's a spirit on Chester Bridge. Cheshire Bridge. And you know it intersects with uh, Booty Highway. I mean, Beaufort Highway. Oh! Uh, Hold on, wait. It's a, we can't cross over there. Why is it called that? Booty Highway? Yeah. Because there were a lot of fags that lived over there once upon a time. And all of those apartments over there were full of semen and cum and condoms. Like the Darlington downtown? Correct! 
And you know the other place they used they call it the Solace now, but it used to be called Vaseline Towers. Whoa. Right down there next to the Fox Theater. Wait a minute. It's called the Solace now, but it used to be called 710 Peach Street. So there was another place like the Grand Arlington the State? Correct. This one is down in Midtown. That one is in Buckhead by Piedmont Hospital. I used to be like, well, how does all the girls from Florida come down here and move to the Darling? Girl, because they had really they had really cheap rent. They had really cheap rent because the things were going on in the hallways and in the elevators. Well, that's where they caught the uh, the Valentino person at the Darling to the States. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> there is so much going on. I write about the Vaseline Towers in the first book, too, now. I had a girlfriend that used to live over there. Wait, a girlfriend as in a, you know, a woman that you were dating? As a fag, as a fag. Oh, a girlfriend as a girl. Yeah, one of the girls. The girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And, and you know, certain times of night I would call him, and he just wouldn't answer the phone. He was down there tiptoeing in his heels. He was tiptoeing in his heels. <laughs> going to he, he had his purse, honey. The black car doors opened up, honey, and he was down there tiptoeing in his heels. And I'm steadily calling. Tiptoeing in his heels. And I'm steadily calling. And he's tiptoeing in his heels. Ring, ring, ring. Tiptoeing in his heels. And he ain't answering. Tiptoeing in his heels. And he ain't answering. Tiptoeing in his heels. I'm just a calling. His God. So then the next day I'd be like, uh, I called you yesterday. What happened? He said, when? Yesterday after we hung up the phone, I called you right back. Girl, she was down there tiptoeing in her heel. Wait a minute now. Yeah, Y'all ain't gonna be careful about it. I think I got it all out. Him. Hold on, let me look at the thing. Let me yeah, see. They, they, they in the comments. He was down there cutting up. Ooh, ain't nothing in my nose, girl. Let me see. Let me go forth again. And I'm like, well, where, where, what happened to you? It might be a delay. Because you know the comments come in a delay. So you know. No, he was down there sucking dicks over there, Craig. Yeah. Girl. Listen, Craig, we have all had our fun. Have you not had your fun? Oh, no, I've a, had my fun. As a young buck? I'm Ooh. still young. Let me watch how I use that name, young buck. I'm, I'm still young, and I still buck. Well, I got to watch how I use that in a sentence, girl, because I don't need to have it trying to correlate anything with me because it, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, I'm still young. You are? Now, I'm, 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 I'm approaching. I'm, I'm about to round up on, on to 48. You are? You're still young? I'm still young. Okay, you I may, may be young, young and I'm ready, ready, ready to learn. What you gonna learn, girl? Get what you gonna learn. Listen, I will be 48 on May 4th, and so I always think about the things that I've learned in the previous year. In the previous life or the previous in year? In the previous year. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. what did you learn not to put a GoFundMe up? Who has a GoFund? Oh, Todrick Hall. Let's get into Todrick Hall. Let's get into Todrick Hall. Let me tell you something about Todrick Hall. Now, he just put up a GoFundMe because apparently his family, I think, in the, where is he from? The Carolinas? No, he's from Texas. He's from Texas. So apparently his house, his family had a house fire. And so he set up a GoFundMe to raise $100,000. And some white queen over on TikTok had wore him out. Now, let me tell you something about a white sissy. A white sissy can't wait, can't wait to catch you up and to expose you. I don't care how much they try to make you look like they're your friend. They always try to make you seem like they part of, you're part of the family, so they ain't got to pay you for your time. Now, that's a line from Karina. Karina. Girl, I'm just, I, I, you see, I'm over here in my phone. I'm listening. Oh, I see. So this white queen had exposed Todrick and said, now, he living in this beautiful house out in California, and he talking about he can't assist his own family who had this house fire. And shortly after he raised this money on the GoFundMe, after y'all had sent your money in on the GoFundMe, he had a party. And this white queen estimates that the party was probably about $20,000. So the white queen is basically insinuating that he used some of your money to pay for this party. And see, this is why some of the people won't sign up for pay for your sake. Because see, they think we're using this money. Well, we we're not. We're trying to help them. Now, we've been talking about payforyoursake.com. Promo code Maddie 100. Maddie 100. Now, I'm back in it with this. Uh, right, right. Now, we're trying to help y'all. But see, y'all don't want to believe us because it's, it's the children like Todrick that's out here. Okay, Craig, how much of this do we know is true? Go run, run the white sissy. Okay, I got you. Put the white queen up there from do you, TikTok. Do you mean sissy as in C I S S Y or S I S S Y? S I S S Y F A G, white. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Put the white sissy up there. Todrick Hall is asking fans for money because he says his family's house has burned down. In the GoFundMe, he says, typically I would be the person to step up to the plate to help, but as a performer who's just recovering from the pandemic and the union strike myself, there's only so much I can do. Now, this was just three days ago. He set a goal to raise $10,000, which he has already hit. But last night in Los Angeles, he threw a birthday party. There was a petting zoo, horses to take photos on, a mechanical bull, at least three drag performers, a tattoo artist, multiple photo stations. This is the one that you stand on and it spins around you to make a video. Another photo booth. Cakes like this in Los Angeles don't cost less than 500. And that's not even including any of the booze. There were a lot of people there. But what made me cringe the most was this video one of his girlfriends posted. Todrick, you guys. You guys, you guys, what is his life? What? If you don't know, I used to be a celebrity assistant for like an actual celebrity, like an A-list celebrity. There's no way, if I'm being very conservative with my math, there's no way that party cost less than $15,000. I bet it was at least $20,000. I just cannot imagine coming on the internet, telling people that my family's house burnt down, asking them for money, saying that I couldn't afford it, and then throwing a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar party. And actually, he's not wearing $10,000 worth of Cartier. He's wearing $24,000 worth of Cartier. I know we're all empaths, but there's like legit con men out here and you guys need to be careful where you're spending your money. There are actual celebrities. <laughs> First of all, he shaded the shit out of him by saying actual celebrities. But when I tell you that homosexual could not wait to get on his TikTok to tell this story with those tattooed brows and those veneer teeth and that Botox forehead, he could not wait. Let me tell you something. That white sissy has told that story 15 times before he got on TikTok. That white sissy has told that story everywhere he set his ass down, wood, cloth, or leather. Everywhere he sat down, he told that story. On what, Craig? Every time he sat down, whether he was sitting down on wood, cloth, or leather, he on told what, wood, cloth, or leather, what, bitch? wood, cloth, or leather, bitch. My God. Everywhere he sat his ass down, wood, cloth, or leather, he told that story. He was in practice by the time he got on TikTok. <laughs> One thing about them, how they, they going to remind you that you's a nigga, okay? You think that's what all, that was all about? Craig, do you think that that's what that was all about? All right, here I go with devil's advocacy. How about if the party was thrown and the proceeds from the party that came from the party, if, if there was a charging at the door, went to the, the burn down house? How about that? How about if we looked at it from that? Like, he, like you, went, you took the GoFundMe money and you threw a party and you took the money that came from the party and you put it to, to his family's home. How about that? Yes. If you're raising money for your family's burn down house, you shouldn't be throwing no party because the money that you use for the party you could have been sending to your family but what if okay again devil's advocate what if okay what if craig come on now i'm listening i'm just trying to earn it okay what if okay the, Girl, all my the, microphone trying to fall what if all the proceeds that were from the party again went to this and what if the people that love todger because he is loved because he is a celebrity Regardless of the fact of if that if that girl who was on TikTok trying to shade her or not, and and she worked for celebrities. See a lot of a lot of times the girls be feeling some type of way because you be you you be a star, and they and they and they, and they no you can you can unscrew it and then tie it on the side, and then they have to work for you on the side. You understand what I'm talking about? Because Todrick is a celebrity. Come on. Let's 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 be let's be clear. And I'm not doing this because I'm like these friends. I'm not this and the other. I'm just hypothetically speaking, speaking and asking a question. <laughs> what if all of that stuff was done? That Craig, I could have a party right now, and I could say I want to have a party. Okay, well, since that's your girlfriend calling, ask if she charged people to come into the party. 
we can wait. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do this. I won't do it on the show. S- send her a text message, and we can di- we can discuss it later. But but I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that that lady didn't charge for this party. Every time I look up that oh, lady, you curate the question. Then hold on, I'll ask. Okay. Ain't nothing to curate. Just simply say, did you charge for no, that party? No, you asked the question that we're discussing. This, this situation is going on with you right now. Let me send him a voice note. <laughs> on Fag Talk. On Fag Talk. Girl, you seem to be having the trouble finding that lady's phone number. I got it. <laughs> oh, I have it. Is that the right number? It is. A- am I sending a voice note? Girl, you just say, hey, this is C.S. Madison and Craig the Writer Stewart. We're on Fact Talk. To- hey, Todrick. This is Craig the Writer Stewart. I'm sitting here next to T.S. Uh, T. Madison. We're doing Fag Talk. And we're talking about this this white queen that did this video on TikTok and said that you, you, you set up this GoFundMe and you were scamming the children out of their money. You know, you were raising money for your family who had this, this fire. And Madison brought up an interesting point. She said maybe that you... We're charging the people to come in and you took the proceeds from the the door to send to your family. And I was just wondering, did you actually have a have a have a, a cover charge? Or or the things that came from the party could have been donated. Could you could you just give us a little clarity? Because communication is our party. Party partner and clarity is our friend. Hit send. <laughs> All right, now here's the thing. He was just embroiled in something not long ago, a couple years ago, a year or two ago, whenever it was, when that someone we know in common went out there and lived and supposedly broke into his house. But and that's not, that was not true. Burglarized. That was not true, Craig. Well, what wasn't true? That the person that we know did, had something to do with that it? That was not true. Okay. The but, house was broken in, but that was not true that it was this person that we knew. Right. He said that he thought it was, though. Todrick said he thought that it was. I can't hear you. Hello? Is your mic working? It is. <laughs> oh, okay. But he he had a he had a, an insurance claim then, but he said that the insurance company wouldn't he hasn't looked at it yet. He, he said the insurance company didn't pay him for all of the stuff that was damaged or stolen. But see, that's when he that's when he also realized that he was black. Cause see, insurance companies do that fuck shit all of the time. You file a claim, you can be paying insurance for years. Car insurance, uh, homeowners insurance, and then as soon as you put in a claim, because your basement got flooded or something happened, your house got burglarized, they don't want to pay it out. And he experienced that firsthand. Craig, for me, because the experience here's and this is how I work. Mm-hmm. The experiences that I've had with Todrick have not been the experiences that people have said that they've had with him. I've had pleasant experiences with Todrick. Uh, the time that I felt that I didn't have a pleasant experience with Todrick, I said, I told Todrick. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And two, in this situation, I know how the gays are. I know how things are. I know we know how the faggies work. Okay. Okay. That's two. Three, I'm always, I'm always open to. Oh, he sent something back. Oh, what did he say? Don't play it loud. Go oh, well, then we ain't going to play it then. Well, no. give us a thought. Put us on mute. No, because we're not going to do that. Well, put us on mute. Oh, there he is. He's FaceTiming. Here we go. Do, do you, you want to do, do this on here? Hold on. Pause me. Because you know I don't care. 30 seconds. Okay, so. I'm going to send you the link, Todrick, and you can just, like, if you want to slide through, I'm going to take He you on the video set. He can't. You do can't. you have time now or no? No, there's no way. I'm on set. I just yeah, he on set. Really quick because I saw one piece okay. in Texas. Yeah, I, I have to respond. That's right. So here go Todrick right here, y'all. Tell them what they said. What happened, Todrick? So I had a friend come through because I'm going through a lot of things in my personal life on top of everything else. I'm moving to London. I'm packing up. 
to selling my home. And she was like, I just want to celebrate you for all for being so tenacious. I'm going to get some stuff together. I do party planning. I'm going to volunteer my time. And a lot of these people just donated things. People donated um, a, a mechanical bull. She bought me a cake. And basically everybody just came and had a party at my house. My house looks lavish to people, but we didn't spend money on the video. There was a DJ there that don't, came and was like, we're just going to come and plug some music up and celebrate it. I don't know what people saw that looked like we spent someone's I saw something that someone said we spent twenty thousand dollars on a party. And I'm like, we had hay bells and a mechanical bull. But when you live in LA, people donate. My friend who owns a bar was like, We'll donate the alcohol. We're gonna come and just bring stuff to celebrate you. It's your birthday and going away party. So that's all that happened. I said that. That's what I said. It was me for being be it's good that I'm devil's advocate. Cause I said that. Cause that's what I said. I'm like, girl. Okay. Yes. No. My parents' house really did burn down in real life, and I would never use GoFundMe money that people give me to to throw a party for myself. That would be ridiculous. But um. But yeah, I just I was not in a position that I would love to be in to be like I confront this right now for my parents. And so people that were my fans that heard about it said go create a GoFundMe. My fans asked me to. So I was like, great, I will do this if anybody wants to donate. And so then I did. Um, but yeah, it's it's always an, a tricky situation. But yeah, people donated a lot of stuff and came through people that I work with all the time. And they really showed up for me for my birthday and made it really special. There we go. Thank you, Taja. Come when you go. Come when you get off your video. I love you too. Come when you get off your video shoot. All right, thank you. All right, baby. And thank you for always playing devil's advocate for me. I'm always gonna be devil's advocate because I'm like, bro, you know. And I love to meet, and I love you too. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, baby. Okay, okay, bye. You really feel vindicated, <laughs> but here's but but here's what I will say. Here's what I will say because that wasn't quite what you said. Craig, you said, what if he charged people to come in? That's not what he said. Okay. He had a girlfriend who said, you're moving to London. And so I want to throw you a party because you deserve this. I get that. Two things. I still, if it was me, I wouldn't have either posted it because, because of optics. It just doesn't look good. Okay. Or B... I would have said to her, girl, I appreciate that, but whatever you're going to spend on this party, donate it to my family. That's just me. Okay. But it, it, it happened right here live. You see how you, oh, you yeah. see how you tapped me on my show? Oh, yeah. And said, girl, if you oh, did, yeah. did, you know. But I, but I definitely wouldn't have posted that. I wouldn't have posted that. If I have a, if I have a working GoFundMe, I'm not going to post some party that I'm doing. because It just doesn't look right. Optically. Optically. But for the people that are saying like they don't believe him, like why do you guys not believe what he's saying is true? Is there is there is like do you guys know something that's happened that makes you guys believe that he's lying about this? Listen, as an entertainer and as a star, there are a lot of narratives that get put out about you. Lot, you know it, Craig. You know this. Uh, yes. There are lots of narratives that get put out about you as a person. Right. You know, and that occupies public space as a mm -hmm. person. You know this happens, and, and Mo, you witness this. You in the, you in the camp, so you know. A lot of shit. A lot of things get taken. Some things happen, but sometimes things be that person's perception of what happened. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. And it's just like like what well, this happened, but it didn't happen like that. Mm -hmm. Just like when we talked about the Hope and Amanda Seals thing. Mm -hmm. Amanda hit me the following day. Oh, she did. Yes, mm -hmm. bitch. When we talk about these people, I, these I'm, this phone is is it? Come because I'm finna, I'm about to bring it to the thing. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I gotta I gotta pull some of these people together in the comments. I'm, I was quiet on the phone. First of all, I was trying to give him an opportunity to speak. What I said is on film, so I, I don't have to tiptoe around anything or anybody. What I said was on film, and then I followed up with my thoughts after the call. I didn't get into a whole bunch on the call because he said he was on a video set. That's why I said, well, we can't add him because he's on a video set. Yeah. And I was trying to give him the space to speak, to say his side. I had already said mine. So it has nothing to do with me tiptoeing on the phone for those of you who, who think that I'm mincing words because I'm not. But go ahead. So Amanda hit me and we, mm. Amanda and I were talking, you know, and I'm not going to because 
I haven't he messaged her or communicated with her to, to say what I can put out loud. But we were talking, and again, when we had that conversation the other day about her, her experience with Essence and <laughs> the Grio. The Grio and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Hope. No, I had to know. Because I had to remember, like, what was it? Right, right, right. <laughs> and then, then we said that Hope had a situation. And I told y'all the, the, the experience that me, Hope, and Amanda. Amanda, Dominique Morgan, we were all together. It was We were all together in a back room. I was like, well, I wonder if this is, was a separate experience. Because I know the experience that we had from my perception mm -hmm. and from Amanda's perception, we had a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, when when we were together with Amanda, you had a pleasant experience with Amanda. Mm -hmm. You know, when Amanda called me, Amanda, and I got what she was saying to me. Amanda hit me and she was very much so like, Madison, I ride for you. I ride with you. You know, you my bitch, you know. And it's just like, you can't leave room for people to even think that there was no, th and I'm like, well, you know, in this space, mm -hmm. I only talked about what was true to me. And what was true to me was when we were having that conversation, me, you, Hope, and Dominique were there. Now, I don't know what Hope's perception of the situation was. I don't know. Right, right, right. But from what I, from what we saw. That comment is something else. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but from what from what we did it was not unpleasant and right. then it wasn't unpleasant for amanda so i don't know that's why i said it it has to be another time because right. it couldn't be that time because we was all getting along in the room right yeah so i don't i yeah i mean that, and that's their thing so again to go back pivot back to todrick when I did business with Todrick on the on his song, mm -hmm. Todrick paid me. And see, and that's the other thing that you said before he called. You said you said something about um, you you don't have the experiences that other people have had. You said one time he did something or said something, and you didn't like it, and you addressed it. I did, but I also think that sometimes. People are different with different people. You know what I'm saying? He may seem or may feel um, like he's going to treat you and work with you differently than he would maybe his dancers, his employees, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So that's not necessarily a good barometer because it's like you are kind of contemporaries. You're contemporaries where he may see them as subordinates. 